Are you feeling trapped as of late? As if you feel like you're in a quicksand. It's easy to feel this way, especially when control is lost. To get out of this quicksand, it's important to look inward and listen to the habits in your life keeping you stuck. Living in the past. Do you find your thoughts often drift to past events? Mistakes you'd like to forget about, but just can't shake? Maybe there's someone you can't let go of, someone who has hurt you. Or maybe you hurt them and you can't forgive yourself. If you're ready, it's time to forgive and forget. Forgiving does not mean you condone their hurtful actions and behaviors. It means you're ready to free yourself from the pain and you're no longer dwelling on the past. You are consciously taking back your power to create your own happy memories now, in the present, and in the future. Focusing on the negative. Do you focus on the negative too much? Do you feel stuck because it's all you think about? Your mind can't help but obsess about what's all going wrong in your life. You have too many tasks to do, too many failures to progress, too much bad luck. While it can be hard to focus on the positives when you're going through a hardship, changing your perspective may just help you step through that barrier that you feel trapped behind. Look to what you do have and what you're grateful for each day. Not getting out of your comfort zone. So you're afraid of what might happen if you fail. Of course, everyone considers the possibility of failure, but to never take risks is a big life mistake. Those who have lived a long life often mention how they wish they'd taken more risks. In the last years of your life, would you rather have known you took the risk instead of living in regret? It's time to get out of your comfort zone and progress. If we always do what makes us comfortable, we may start to feel stuck. We need to explore what else is out there. There may be a new hobby, career, skill, relationship, or new you out there waiting, well, for you. Procrastination. Are you guilty of procrastination? This habit can definitely leave you feeling trapped. All you want to do is sit down and finish that biology assignment due tomorrow, but you just got a new notification on your favorite app and it just can't wait. This is a tough habit. Small habits like putting away any distractions and work on the task at hand in a quiet place can work wonders. Then think baby steps as you complete your work. Divide the task into small, achievable goals. The next task? Try getting yourself to focus on the next one. Blaming. It can be easy to blame a situation or person for all of your problems. But take a moment and think, is it really their fault? Or did you know what you were doing all along, secretly hiding the truth at the back of your mind? It's best not to jump to shifting the blame to someone else. The excuses can be endless. Grow into a mindset that takes no excuses from yourself and focuses on finding a way around them. Not taking care of yourself. It's important we take care of ourselves first so we can actually enjoy our life and break free from feeling trapped. We should always focus on our mental and physical health so we can have the strength to achieve our other goals. If you don't take care of yourself first, you'll only lose energy and become exhausted by the time you move on to your next task or assignment. Not taking the time for yourself and your needs could also lead you down a path to depression and other health problems. Make a conscious effort to make yourself a priority because you matter too. Progress your relationships. It's always nice to have a friend cheer for you on the sidelines. We need someone to be our biggest fan. Well, we should all be our own biggest fan too, but who doesn't want a fan club of supporters? Having others in your life to turn to can make a world of a difference. So it's best not to neglect the friendships in your life. Nurture and grow your friendships so you don't lose the connections in your life. And if you don't have any friends, it's never a bad idea to try socializing and meeting new people. You could join an online community, a book club, or simply give your mom a call every now and then. If you do need help, reach out to others. There are people out there who are willing to help. Asking can be the first step. You give yourself too much to handle at first. Did you make a New Year's resolution list this year? How long was it? Did you try to tackle it all the first week of the year? It's good to have goals, but if you give yourself too much to handle at first, you may get overwhelmed. It sounds easy to start an assignment when you've only been assigned one. The finish line is so close. 
but if you have a stack of homework that's waiting for you, you may feel trapped and ignore it altogether. Give yourself one task at a time and when you feel comfortable. You don't advance your skills and learn. School is over and summer is finally here, which means months and months of relaxation, right? Well, it's great to have a break, but just because you're on one doesn't mean you can't advance your skills somewhere else. Learning can make us feel proud, productive, and happy. So why not take up a new hobby? Advance your music skills. Read that history book that's been collecting dust on your shelf. Learn a new language. The possibilities are endless. If you think of school as a chore, learning doesn't have to be that way. You can make your own lessons and become your own teacher. The topic for today's lesson, anything you want. Just don't give yourself too much homework at once. Remember, baby steps. So which of these habits do you have? How do you plan to grow out of them? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone who may need it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.